everyone, this is Jacob S. Paulson with jacobspaulson.com. I have here with me today in my office a good friend of mine, Francois Vallette. Hi everybody, how are you doing? In case you're wondering about that accent, Francois is clearly French, if you didn't catch on by the name. Um, I've been talking to Francois a little bit about Twitter, and uh, today we're going to help him set up his Twitter account. Um, he understands the importance of getting started on Twitter, and so we're not going to give you any lectures today. Uh, this is purely a tutorial of how to set up the account. And so what we're going to do is when we come here, we just come to twitter.com, and we scroll down here and click on Get Started. Join. Here it comes. Now uh, understand that there's a lot of little things here. Anybody could figure this out, and so I'm not trying to do this tutorial to say that everyone out there is stupid, and Francois is certainly not an idiot, uh, but there are certain things about the way you set up your profile that can make a, a large and considerable difference uh, in the way uh, uh, that you use Twitter and how effective it can be for you. And so that's the purpose of this tutorial, is to show what some of those things are. Francois. And uh, username, it's important when you pick your username on, on Twitter, guys, that you don't use some crazy nickname like uh, Johnny Be Good or you know, G-Dog or whatever it is that people call you. The username, understand that in all of social media, our purpose here is to brand us, or in this case, you. Uh, you want to brand yourself. And so okay. our username needs to be our name. And that needs to be consistent with all of our everything we do, whether it's your Facebook, your Twitter, your your own website or blog. Everything needs to be your name. Uh, some people like to use their first and middle name. Some people use first last name. Some people use a middle initial. Uh, but the point is to be consistent across the board on everything you do online and to use your name. So, Francois, sure. what, what would be ideal for you? Well, I put Francois V. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Francois V will be his username. Uh, for password, we're going to go ahead and this will blur it right out, so I'm going to let Francois type it in, and uh, no one will know what it is, of course. You'll know how many uh, it is, and you'll see that it's weak, but uh, it's probably something in French, I'm guessing, so I wouldn't try it out. And uh, we'll put in Francois' email. It this is obviously just for admin purposes, so it doesn't really matter what we use. Francois at Like so. Perfect. Okay, and if you want to get emails from uh, Twitter, you'd be my guest. It's not my thing, personally. And then we'll just type in our little catch a phrase here so they know that we're not bad people. Create my account. I always type these things in wrong, so we'll see if I actually get it the first time. Oh, we did it. Thank goodness. Now, our screen name's already been taken, Francois, so somebody else already has that. Do you want to go for Francois Vallette? Let's go for that, yeah. Like so, correct? Yep. Okay, create my account. Okay, just like that. Now initially, when we first set up your account, now it wants you to see if some of your friends are already on Twitter. And uh, So what we want to do is pick the email address that you use that has the, the largest amount of your address book and import those people. And I'm guessing that's Gmail. Gmail, absolutely. Yeah, so let's import your Gmail list. This is safe. Uh, Twitter guards your information, so you don't have to worry about this. I'm pretty sure I know your email address already. Francois, here we go. I'll let you type in your Gmail password for us. Just like that, we can click on continue and move right forward into this. And the bad news is, just one guy. And I, in fact, I suspect this Francois 57. This might be an old Twitter account that yeah, you had yeah, once. Yeah. Uh, so we don't need to follow ourselves. And so we're just going to uh, go ahead and continue. There's nothing we can do there. Uh, now these are all people that are that you have in your Gmail account that are not currently on Twitter yet. Uh, now you can select these people and invite them if you want. I'm going to say let's wait. Let's do that later and you may feel more comfortable with it down the road. So we're going to go ahead and skip this test. Uh, look who else is here. So this is just saying, hey, these are some of the popular people on Twitter. just picks these people almost at random. We're going to go ahead and just skip this, and I'll let you decide for yourself if you uh, feel like following it CNN News. Okay. Okay. Uh, right now, someone is already following you. Someone named uh, Jim Bear or whoever that is. Uh, the first thing we want to do is change some of our settings. Like all social media websites, before we go out and we try and get a lot of people following us, when we start following other people, we first want to set up our profile. And everybody knows uh, who we are and what we're about. So that way when we go and we click on someone and we say we want to follow them, if they come back and look at our profile, it, it doesn't look like this. Right? Uh, so we're just going to initially go into settings. Uh, here is our account settings. We have our username, name, email, time zone. Uh, the One of the nice things about Twitter is it does allow us to put in one URL. We can put in one website that someone can click on to learn more about you, Francois. Now, do you already have a personal site or blog? 
Okay. No, I don't. I Not yet. Pick one. Yeah. But he's going to work on one. So until we do that, we can put something else for now. Uh, maybe we can put your sales page or your your sales website. Yep. Now understand, uh, um, Francois, uh, that this is actually a bad habit. Uh, we don't want to have a link on our Twitter that's going to take someone to a sales site. Okay. Uh, it's, it's it's bad etiquette, uh, and it's it's frankly ineffective. Okay. Uh, but for now, just to have something, we'll put it here. But let's try and get your, your own blog set up as soon as possible. Maybe francoisvillette.com. We'll see if that's available. And, and then we'll come back and we'll change this. A uh, one-line bio. This is, we have 160 characters to sell, tell people a little bit about yourself. Uh, maybe we say something uh, like a uh, Frenchman uh, now here in the U.S. Um, you know, loves networking and, and meeting other um, online marketers or something like that. Sounds good to me. Okay. I hope I can spell Frenchman. Is that right? Frenchman. <laughs> now in the U.S. And this is something you want to give people something unique about you. Uh, what's special and unique? Why are you, you know, who you are? Let's show some personality. So Frenchman kind of is cool. People get that, hey, this, this French guy, he's now he's in the U.S. Okay, Frenchman now in the U.S. Um, looking. No, let's not do looking. Let's say um, networking with like-minded entrepreneurs. How about that? Oh, there we go. I always spell this wrong. Entrepreneurs. $100 to the person that can spell it right. Okay, location. Let's just say you're in Provo, Utah. Right here where I am. And uh, if you click on Protect My Updates, that means that people can't just follow you off the bat. Every time someone tries to follow you, you have to, uh, you have to manually confirm that that person's allowed to follow you. And so that would be a nightmare. And so for purposes of making this simple, we're not going to protect updates. Let's go ahead and hit Save. And now, just having saved that, there's some other settings we want to change. Before we do that, let's just quickly take a look, glance at your profile and already see um, what, what's happened just from those little couple changes we've made. Now it has our, your web link right here. It shows that you're in Provo, Utah. has your name. It has look, that quick bio. Now let's go back to settings one more time. Um, now a couple things we want to do. We are going to come in here and change your name because we want people to recognize you. We want them to see that, hey, this Francois is the same Francois that they saw on Facebook or on the other website. So we're going to go ahead and put in, uh, if I can spell, the rest of your name so that they know that, hey, Francois Vallette is the same Francois Vallette everywhere they go. There it goes. Okay. Let's save that setting. Now, Francois, I don't know if I have a picture of you here on my computer. We're on my computer. Is there a picture of you somewhere on some website that we can go grab and use it here? Uh, yeah, there is one on my website. Okay, well, let's, I'm just going to open up a new tab here, guys. Yeah, well, and go wife. to Francois's website. Let's see here. And grab a picture of Francois, and we'll use that to upload for his Twitter profile. Uh, it's it's something that's important when we're picking out a picture for Twitter. There's a couple things we want to keep in mind. Uh, one thing is that we want to make sure that it's an upfront, uh, close headshot. Uh, if we have a picture of a whole body shot and you're on a motorcycle driving down the road, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult for people to see. Uh, these pictures on Twitter are pretty small, uh, and so we need to make sure it's something close enough that they're going to be able to see your face. The second thing is that we may consider always using the same picture on all of your profiles on all of your social media websites because people will start to recognize you. Uh, they'll see that, hey, this is the same guy from that one website. Uh, and so that helps as far as uh, recognition. So now we're going to come over here to Picture and uh, browse for a picture. We're struggling a little bit. Here it comes. Open. Save. Okay, and just like that, it's done. So now you and Debbie are right there. Uh, the last thing we want to do in customizing is in your Twitter profile, and we're not going to be able to do it today. Uh, but you want to come to design and pick a theme. Now, the mistake a lot of people make is they pick one of these themes that comes with Twitter. And that's fine and dandy. It's going to be cute and pretty. Uh, but more important, you want to upgrade your, upload your own background image. And that image you can use to promote yourself. Uh, and so I'm going to give you time to create that and come back in here and do it yourself. But just to give you an example, um, we're just going to navigate to my Twitter account, which is twitter.com slash Jacob S. Paulson, P-A-U-L-S-E-N. And you can see how I've used that background to do self-promotion. So people can come here, they can see the name of my website. I says, thanks for following me. And there's links directly to my YouTube, Facebook, and Goodreads pages. Okay. And while we're here, you're going to start following me. And I promise I'll follow you back. Okay. okay. Guys, I hope you uh, have enjoyed this quick tutorial of how to set up your Twitter account. Uh, Francois, hopefully this has been helpful. And you can go out and uh, set up your own background image that's very good at doing some self-promotion. 
and then we'll help you get some more followers. That's pretty straightforward. Thank you, Jacob. Have a good one, guys.